So I'd like to go over the questions that I gave you this week so you can go back and check anything that you may have missed. Most of you sent me corrections and or responded to my comments, so I appreciate that. Um, the biggest mistake we had here was reading for details. So this told us that we had a group of two out of five are wearing glasses, but then the question asked not wearing glasses. So that means three out of five are not wearing glasses, and they wanted that as a percent. And we know that three-fifths is 60%. So that was what I was looking for. A lot of you did tell me 40% there. So make sure you're reading for details on this first assignment. So one-fourth of the students raised leaves. That means three-fourths picked up trash, and they want the percent that picked up trash. We know this is 75%. And again, I had a lot of people tell me 25% on this one. So just reading more carefully is going to be necessary. 32% of the words were spelled correctly. Well, I know that a whole is 100%. So if I borrow, then I have 68% left. But they wanted that as a fraction. So a lot of you told me 68 over 100, which was great, but we need to be able to simplify that. We can simplify both of those by four, I believe. Um, if I wanted to do 4 into 8, I would get 1, and 28 is 7. So 17 over 25 is what I was looking for. Some of you did simplify by 2, and you told me 34 over 50, but you need to make sure you simplify all the way down. And then 75% do not like carrots, so we know that 25% do. And I, again, I was asking for do like carrots. We know 25% is 1 fourth. So that was day one. Again, the biggest issue was that people did not read very carefully. So now we're going to go back and we'll look at day two or assignment two. Um, I had taken these off of a um, another paper, which is why it says four here when it was in fact number one. Out of 420 enrolled in eighth grade, math this year, 85% are passing. So this is, uh, again, read for details. What is not passing? So we know that this is our whole. So when we set up our proportion, 420 is equal something over 100. So you can do this a couple of ways. Um, you could go ahead, we want not passing, so if we have 100% and 85 are passing and we borrow here, then we have 15% not passing. So then we could cross multiply and divide 0, 10, 21, don't forget your placeholders, 0, 2, and 4. 6300, zero, zero. and then when we divide that by 100, we can take off our zeros. So that means that we had 63 students that did not pass. Some of you left your 85 here, and you went ahead and um, you got, I don't know, off the top. Uh, 377. Well, this is the ones that pass. So if you use the 85 and you got the 377, then you simply needed to take that away from the 420. Number two, Juan just recently moved into a new neighborhood. He found that 85% of the families have a pet. There are 40 families in the neighborhood. How many have a pet? So this one is not a tricky one. Here is our original or our 100%. 40 people. Um, are in the neighborhood, that's our 100%, and we want to know what 85% of that is. So again, we're going to cross multiply divide. 20, 34, and when we divide that by 100, we can take off our zeros. We can see that 34 families have a pet. On number three, on Sarah's first day of middle school, she determined 24 of the students in her math class brought their lunch, and there are 32 in her math class. What percent brought their lunch? So again, so we have 24 who brought lunch out of 32 is our total. Equals 100% is our 32, so we're looking here. So we can cross multiply 
2400 and divide by 32, um, which is going to be a 7. 14 carries a 1. I have to borrow here 16, and that's going to be a 5. Um, so we needed to say 75% here. The other way you could have done this is you could have written your 24 over 32. You could have simplified that by 8 and gotten 3 fourths, and then easily changed that to a percentage. So lots of ways you could have done that problem. This was our third lesson. This was our seventh grade topic. It was a little more tricky, and it was um, percent increase and decrease. So number one here, we had our tablet was 360, and now it's marked down 280. What is the percent of the change in the price? So to find the change, that implies that we need to subtract. So 360 divided by, uh, sorry, not divided, minus 280. And when we do that, we get $80 difference, but we need that as a percent. So 80 out of our original, remember, it's always difference over original. Whenever we're doing this, this equals the percent over 100. We could take off our zeros just to make that a little easier. 800 divided by 36. So 2 is going to be uh, 72. And 80 would be a 72 again. And then you'll see that it's actually a repeat, which is why I asked you to just round to the nearest full. So I was looking for 22% on this one. Number two, Jonas has been saving for a new watch. The watch cost 120 and it was marked up 15%. How much does it cost now? So if it was 120, this is our original, okay? So 120 is our 100%. It went up 15%. So we need to put that over 100. 120 times 15. Make sure you use your placeholder. 1800. And we're going to divide that by 100 so we can take off our zeros. And some of you put 18, but that doesn't make sense because it went up. This is, it went up $18. So now we need to add. 120 plus 18. So now the watch is 148. Um, our last problem that we did is going to be about Ava and Joey. And it talks about how their weekly allowance went up. And who who's went up by the most is what we're talking about here. So we need to... Go ahead and, so you're looking, if we're looking for the greater percent of increase, we need to find the difference. Remember, it is always difference over original. So if I do 18 minus 12 for Ava, her difference is 6. So 6 over her original was 12. This is 1 half, which is 50%. So her allowance went up by 50%. If I look at Joey, Joey, if we do 24 minus 18, his also increased by $6, but his is $6 over his original was 18, which is one-third, which is only 33% increase. So I was looking for on this one for you to tell me that Ava did, in fact, have a greater percent increase in her allowance. Please let me know if you have any questions.